Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum guys It's your brother Jose Luis uh, Once again I'm here from Brooklyn, New York Happy to say salam to everybody Um, Inshallah everybody's happy and healthy And with high man uh, I haven't been I haven't said anything to you guys in a while Um, Once again I want to start by saying Thank you to everybody that watches my videos. Thank you to those that show me love via the internet on emails, you know, comment threads, tweeting, and um, as well as <coughs> Instagram. You guys are all real cool, man. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about the 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 awesomeness that happened to me a couple of like weeks ago. So my brother, who I hadn't seen in about seven years, came from California and surprised the whole family. And um, he brought his children along, and that was a surprise. And that was the first time I got to meet my little niece and my little nephew. Uh, mashallah, those are just two beauties. They are really, really good. I love them, man. They were real, real. It was, it was a humongous boost in life. I had probably one of the best weeks of my life just seeing my older brothers seeing my little my niece and my little nephew meeting them for the first time he didn't tell a soul he just showed up at my mother's door like knock knock happy birthday because it happened to be my mom's birthday he didn't say nothing he was just like come and i seen him and i was like oh, what the hell i thought you know who would have thought and um man that was that was a beautiful surprise and well that was just the beginning of it so I'm sitting there hanging out with him. We we ran around the city. And funny thing about New York City, you know, or any anybody who lives in a big city, you really don't appreciate it till somebody comes to visit and then you're asked to show them around. So I was playing tour guide and Alhamdulillah that was beautiful. You know, I ran around all New York City, Central Park, um Times Square, Bryant Park, all all over New York City, up and down, showing people showing my niece and my nephew stuff. And um, my little nephew, man, he is, he is, he's a fun guy to be around. Um, he caught me in a week where I wasn't feeling too good, but he, he has ADHD. And for those that know, don't know what ADHD is, ADHD, what it is and what it does, it's, it's, uh, it's a disorder that affects your, your levels of energy and your attention levels. So he's pretty much like a hyper bullet running around like this, boom, 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 boom. And those that know me, I myself am a hyper bullet, but not because of any other defi not because of um deficiencies or anything. <clears throat> but he was born that way, and he can't, you know, he can't turn it off. So it was really sad to see that, you know, my my brother had to give him medication, and um. You know, we had to give him medication to go to sleep, to, to do homework, you know. It was really, really sad to, to see, but um, subhanAllah, things, the way things work out. And I was kind of sad that, like, he was like that because, you know, he's flesh and blood. And whenever you hear flesh and blood isn't, isn't healthy in some way, shape, or form, you can't help but to feel bad for him. And that was the feeling, but... um. We would sit and do homework and be a little difficult because his attention is always all over the place. His, like mine, my attention is all over the place, but mine isn't because it's just, I'm just a little different. He was born with, with an actual disease, or at least diagnosed with an actual disease. Who knows, I may have ADHD. A lot of my friends know me that I, I'm just really happy and really happy all the time. And, but yeah, he he was just really hyper and really like difficult if anybody knows any children out there they the hd they know exactly what i'm talking about like how how difficult it is to deal with with young kids at that age and he's like 10 years old nine years old so it's real real difficult for him to just sit down in general now if you add a disease to it that causes him to run around and not be able to to concentrate or focus in any way and uh my little niece, she she's she's wonderful with him, mashallah. She's old sister. Uh, she was really nice to him. You know, he could be a little difficult, and she could like like react the wrong way. But alhamdulillah, like she really really reacts the right way. She doesn't get too mad. And I I made sure to tell her, you know, uh, God made you know your little brother special, so don't go you know 
getting mad at him because it's not his fault. Don't, bro, you know, keep your patience. Keep your, keep your sanity, you know, don't, don't act crazy because he's going to need your help more than you're going to be able to help him. So just help him whenever you can. And, uh, so time passes and I spent pretty much the whole week with them and, uh, I was hanging out and then one day I was, um, time for me to pray, you know, and my little nephew goes, how do you pray? Like all hyper and stuff. And I was like, I just pray. And I wasn't sure whether or not like to show him cause I didn't want to like, uh, you know, I didn't, I don't know how his mother and father would feel about watching me pray. You know, um, his mother is, is half Egyptian. So her father was, was Muslim. So like, you know, it's, it's not nothing new to them, but like, I, I didn't want them to, to think that I was like confusing their child in any way, shape or form, my nephew. So I was just like, nah, you know, and, uh, it, ha it so happens that I was in a room where I had to pray and he was in there with my other nephew. And they were standing there wrestling. <laughs> my little nephew Anthony was actually kicking my older nephew. He was kicking and jumping all over the place like a little bullet going crazy. And um, and that's just what he did the entire, entire, entire time he was here. Just ran and ran and ran and ran. Asked questions. Wouldn't sit down. He would just... You know, we did our best. You know, he was never out of control. But you can tell that he was always trying to go somewhere. He was phys It was impossible for him to stand still. So... I'm in the room and it was time for me to pray and then he just stopped and looked at me and I felt him looking at me and you know it was Magadib so I was I was reciting and then uh and something incredible happened you know subhanAllah like he stopped and I could feel him looking at me and he just kept looking and staring at me and I was I was I was getting and then I was in Sajud and I feel I felt him come over and like grab something next to me and he was in sujood next to me too and I was like subhanAllah like that is the quietest and most still that boy was the entire time he was here he was here for a week he didn't go to sleep without medication he couldn't sit down and do homework without medication but he stopped everything he was doing and got next to me in prayer you know, in Sujood, and, I mean, it was just, it was incredible to see, subhanAllah, and, and maybe a lot of you guys might not understand how much that means to, to me, or they don't understand it, but, like, look up ADHD, look how incredibly impossible it is for kids to stop going crazy and bugging out, not only did my nephew stop going crazy and, and kicking my other nephew and wrestling. He just stopped and got into Sajood. And, you know, then I finished praying. I did the thing. And I looked over to him, and he was sitting up, too. And I'm trying not to cry because I told the story before I started crying. And um, I looked over to him. I said, yo, if you have anything, if you ever have to ask God anything, you, you, you put your head down to the floor. And he makes a Jew, and he just turned around and looked at me. He's like, okay. And I, I, I almost wanted to stay in Jew for, like, the rest of the night. <laughs> just because, you know, my nephew could calm down. Like, he himself, I'm sure, appreciated the calmness. And, yeah, my video today is short and sweet, you know. SubhanAllah, the power of, of prayer, Salat, and God. And, you know, I guess, um... It's a tell to to the power of, of God, you know. And a lot of people don't know what the power of God is, but like stuff like that happens. I'm just like, wow, that's incredible, you know. That's it's just <laughs> it was just really, really one of the happiest moments of my life to be able to see my nephew calm down, you know, out of his own will, not no medication. Not know nothing else, you know, just because he knows that it was time to pray and talk to God. And he just sat over next to me. <laughs> and, you know, subhanAllah. Now you just never, ever know when, when God is going to show you how beautiful this deen is. How, how, how truthful. 
like our way of life is, how his word, you know, and um, I guess that that's a testimony to to everything, you know, our life as Muslims. Uh, it was kind of like my heart, you know, my heart used to be like that, running around going crazy and like, and then um, my nephew most certainly is my heart. In more ways than one. And just to see that was just like, subhanAllah, and I was thinking about it, and um, I was like, hey, maybe I should tell my friends, family, brothers and sisters all over the world how beautiful that was. So, Assalamu alaikum, inshallah, everybody benefited a little bit, I hope, you know. Somebody somewhere was just like, you know, subhanAllah, like, and uh, one last thing, uh, check your hearts. A lot, a lot of us have to check our hearts and our intentions more often. I learned, uh, <clears throat> learned a lot of the lecture I was at uh, yesterday about checking your intentions and checking your heart and, and really check yourself. You know, you it's, it's difficult to lie to yourself. You may be able to lie to Bob Joe from Idaho, but you can't lie to yourself. You know, check your heart. Check your intentions and uh, renew your intentions when you when you see them falling off, and also just be true to yourself, and be true to who you are, and make sure you do things for the right reasons. So, salam alaikum, friends and family of the internet, YouTube. You know, subhanallah, I can talk to a hundred people at the same time or whoever watches my videos all at the same time and I really appreciate the love and respect that I get all over this world. Inshallah I can I can continue to help you guys out in one way or another. Even if it's just in a smile. May we all benefit from our words. So Salam alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your boy Jose, Book of New York, the Mexican Muslim. Salam alaikum.